We are here today at Hospice Savannah to learn about a very special program to help children who are dealing with the loss of a loved one. It is Camp Aloha and it's back after two years, a two year break because of COVID. We're here with Betsy Cameroon. She oversees the program, your bereavement counselor and full circle manager here at Hospice Savannah. Yes, ma'am. So you gotta be so happy this is back because the kids really need this. Yes, absolutely. We are thrilled that we're going to be able to have camp this year. 2020 was supposed to be our 25th year of camp Aloha, so um, I think we'll just celebrate 25 this year. So. so what happens at the camp? How does this help children grieve? Camp Aloha offers a chance for kids aged 6 to 17 to experience therapeutic activities. We use the healing arts, but it also gives them a chance to gather with their peers, to learn that they're not alone, to have their feelings validated and normalized, and we also have a lot of fun. But it culminates on Saturday night, really, with our campfire. That is always a really poignant moment. Um, beforehand, the children write letters to their loved ones, and then they come and gather around the campfire. They put their letters into the box, and the box goes on the fire and the words of their letters go up to wherever they believe their loved one is. One year we had a little six-year-old who had lost both his parents that year, and we tell our volunteers not to read the letters because they're private and also pretty emotional. And one volunteer read his letter and came out and was just crying because the child had written, Mom and Dad, I miss you so much. How am I supposed to go on in life without you? And so that, those are the kind of emotions that we're helping kids process at this camp. I'm here to honor my mom. I'm here to honor my dad. Children, they grieve differently than adults. I mean, it's hard enough for an adult to deal with the loss of a loved one, but for children, I mean, how helping them process that and understand it and, and move forward with their lives, that's very difficult. Right, and the tools we're teaching will be, they'll be able to use any time in their Throughout lives, because life. really it's about learning how to be able to sit with these really big emotions, process them, deal with stress, you know, just tools that are helpful in school, when they get their first job, in their relationships, and we've spoken with kids who have gone to camp when they're in their 20s and some in their 30s who have said that camp really changed the um, the path that their lives were going. So how do kids sign up or how do they find out about the program? We have a website, it's at hospicesavannah.org forward slash Camp Aloha. There's a couple videos there that parents can watch to see what camp is like. Um, there is a camper application and they just fill it out and it gets sent in and one of us will give them a call and, and figure out how we can best help their child. So what about the cost for the kids? There is a $25 registration fee, however, we don't want that to be an impediment for any child to come to camp. So I always fill out the application. You can send the application in without paying, and then we figure it out in the end. So there are scholarships, so please don't let the registration fee be the reason why you don't apply. Okay, how can we help, though? How can the community help? Um, the community, community can help by um, just getting the word out, telling people that they know that have experienced the death of someone they love, if they have children, that this camp is available to them. It is open to anyone in the community if their child has experienced the death of a loved one, whomever it is. Um, they can let people know about it. If, if they want to give to our children's bereavement programs, we're always which happy. Which helps children all year long. Which helps children all year long. We have grief groups and, and other um, events that really help children process this grief. Okay, do you need volunteers? Yes, volunteers would be helpful. Okay. They can go to the same website. Yeah. Very good. Um, so we're, we're happy to um, have anyone come and help. And we're glad that it's back this year. So this is going to be really your 25th year. 25th year at camp. And the yes. dates are? April 29th through May 1st. Okay. Well, Betsy, thank you so much. Thank you for coming.